Today it's supposed to be 85 degrees. And as far as I can tell, no more triple digit weather. And this might be the hottest day for the rest of this year. So if that's true, I'm going to be opening up the coop. And what I mean by opening the coop is that they have not been able to go up here. Once it got over 80 degrees during the day, any day at all, I was like, no, I can't do it anymore. They can't be in here because they're panting. The uh, condos over here are uh, in the sun if they wait until, you know, afternoon to lay their eggs. So I'm actually pretty excited to open this back up and let them sleep in here and lay their eggs in there. Right now, they are laying their eggs in here. And there's Phoenix right now, laying their eggs. And they lay their eggs in both of these boxes now. It used to just be only that one. But now I'll find one, one or two in there, and then two or three in this one. And once, you know, we added this extra perch up here, for the summer months, I'm glad they can't fit on that one. Even with four that I have now, I had five before. Even with four, it's a little crowded. They can do it, but they start getting really mad at each other. So what'll be really nice is I'll put the ladder back here and they'll be able to go back up and down here. I have my little curtain that I made, which is in another video. And um, I'll just probably leave that door open all the time for mm, another month or so. Okay, these are my new chicken boots. <laughs> the ones I had were cute, but man, I got two different pair and oof, wobbling, two different pair and they both disintegrated more or less. Anyway, I got these, which are a little more expensive, and I'm hoping they uh, last longer than, you know, three months. Part of the problem was probably that I would leave them outside. I mean, not in the weather, but in the cold and maybe, you know, expanding, extract, you know, just made it so that they cracked. I don't know, but oh, here we go. We're gonna take some spaghetti squash and some zucchini out to the chickens. Oh my gosh, I can hear them from here. Okay, I don't know what's going on out here. All right, we're just taking this out. I also have a bunch of coffee grounds that I'm gonna put into the compost or around certain plants to help them out a little bit. What are you ladies doing? If somebody's missing, that means that she's probably trying to lay an egg. Let's take a look here. Yep, that is Miss Cloud trying to lay an egg. They have eaten hardly any of their wet feed. I don't know what it is. It's like they need me to give it to them. No, come on, chirp, 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 chirp. It's right there. Look. No, no. We know you brought us something special. <laughs> I don't know how you know that. It's not like you smelled it from the kitchen. All right. This is one half of a zucchini squash. No. What the heck am I saying? This is one half of a spaghetti squash cut in half. So it's basically two-fourths. Yeah. They love the seeds. So that's what they're doing first, is they're trying to each get seeds. Yeah, I have some zucchini that they like, but don't, they don't really like go overboard on it. They'll eat it, but it's not their for first choice. Yep, that's it. That's all I brought you. Oh, Trinity. Stop being neurotic. No, I don't have tuna fish this time. I do not have scrambled eggs. I do not have any meat. That's what they want.
or the seeds. Yeah, look, look at all this. You love this. You love it. And there's a ton of it. They'll eat it eventually. Hi, Miss Cloud. Ooh, looks like we have one egg in there. And then whatever's under her. I know Phoenix already laid an egg. So it looks like we're going to have at least three. And then I think Parkour Chick, the one here on the right, has been laying her eggs a little later in the morning. When I get out here by seven, Phoenix is already in there laying her egg. Then I think after that it is Trinity here who lays sometime after that. And she's the one who laid there in that tub. Several weeks ago, I would have like 10 days worth of her eggs that, you know, I could eat them, but I couldn't give them away or sell them or anything. No, I couldn't, Phoenix. You love that, don't you? I think I'm going to, when I go inside, I'm going to do a fermented feed. This is not fermented. It's just wet. And they love it. But they don't tell the difference between this wet feed and fermented feed. They don't care. So the only benefit would be the nutrients or that are brought out during the fermenting process. So I don't know. I haven't seen a benefit to doing it or not doing it. It just takes more time. Yeah. See, now that I'm in here and talking, you all want to eat this. It's been here the whole time. Uh -huh. I know what you mean. It's your mouth full, huh? It's like, this is delicious. Why didn't someone tell me? Yeah, it's been here since seven o'clock this morning. Okay, Miss Cloud finally laid her egg. Looks like there's one egg under her, besides that fake egg. Which means, I betcha, PK still needs to lay an egg. This is... Hi, Trinity. Uh-huh. I bet you already laid your egg. Oh, maybe you didn't. I know Phoenix did. And it's either you or PK that did. You're usually pretty good about getting it done. We're all lined up and waiting for a treat. Ah, look at that. Some kind of weird beetle now in your belly yep let's see what's under here anything nope oh there's oh fight for it <laughs> i think they split it it's like lady in the tramp mm-hmm yeah can you move here oh, what about under there anything uh, there's a slug is that a slug? I don't know what that was, but it's in somebody's belly now. In the inside the coop, I have a a uh, stump, and every now and then I turn that over, and there are some mealworms, like the real deal, like live ones. Let's see if there's anything under here. Uh, just these. They don't. They're not really crazy about the pill bugs. Just the worms. What about this guy? It's kind of a nope. We don't want that. They don't really eat the pill bugs unless it's a, like an accident. They don't seem to like them. Excuse me, pardon me. Pardon me, excuse me. Oh, so what about this? There's a centipede. You want that? No. I don't want that. If I wanted that, I would have already eaten it. Okay. I have to be rude about it. Yeah, I don't have my gloves on, so I'm making a mess of myself. Yeah, this is really muddy. Oh, there was a worm already. Did you see that? 
Hey, Miss Cloud. Don't be a bitch. It kind of smells like manure over here. You guys been, uh... Did you poop, like, right next to me or something? What's, what's happening? Why does it smell so bad? Huh? Why? Everybody's like, well, chickens stink. Sometimes they're... They stink a lot. Other... Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, there was a worm on there. Sometimes we dig and there's nothing. Other times it's like, boop. Excuse me, pardon me. I'm trying to get one for a PK here. Oh, this is pretty... This is like mud right here, so it's not quite... You know, the dirt needs to be... Should be damp, but not muddy. Well, there was one. Uh, Any more? There was one. <laughs> whatever tool I bring, they love it. They're like what a shovel, pitchfork, stick. Is there any more? How's that? Oh yeah, there we go. We have to fight for it. Can you guys dig for your own worms? They've got me trained. They do. Let's see. Any others? There were some. Oh, nice. All right, see, you got some. You're welcome. Yeah, you got some. Now they'll dig here for a short time to see if they can find some of their own. That's Miss Cloud telling her to get out of the way. What I do when I come out and dig for worms for them, I pick an area, I dig a little bit, let them get whatever they can find, and then the next day I go to a different area. Or to an area like right next to it. Because the worms, once you dig there, the dirt is loosened up and they're, you know, they're not going to be there necessarily the next day. The, later they will, but not the ne very next day. At least not in my yard. What are you finding? This cloud. So, dude. Do I like, is it treat time yet? Almost. They are ready for a treat. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna lock you up. All right, we're gonna get some mealworms. And we're gonna get some split peas today. What do you think of that? I'm not, I don't give them very much. I had to remember to cut back. Actually, that might be too much. So, you know, I had five chickens. And then I went to four. And I continued to give them the same amount. I'm like, oh. They'll still eat it, piggy chickens. But could you get out of my way? Come on. Okay, come on. Let's go home. Let's go home. There they go. See, now they're all in there. Which means I can close this. Yeah. And now they're like, give that to us. They're like, thank you for this fresh water. We love it. When they're doing the same thing at the same time, they look like identical twins. Like they're the same chicken. 